In this section, basically, you are going to uh, learn about the origins of mathematical programming. Also, you will see the broad applicability of mathematical programming to solve very general problems in industry, government and the military. In this section, uh, you are going to learn how to formulate this uh, problem uh, that we call it furniture uh, factory problem as a linear programming formulation. So we will go step by step and show you how you can build linear programming models based on these particular examples. In this section, what you are going to learn are what are the key components of any linear programming or mixed integral programming model that you want to build. So in this way, you will learn how general are these uh, models and how they can be applied on many industries. In this section, basically what we are going to do is to solve the furniture problem uh, using a graphical solution. So we are going to represent the, the model, uh, the problem graphically, and we are going to show you, based on this uh, uh, visualization of the problem, how this problem can be solved. In this section, we are going to describe the basic algorithm that was invented by George Danzig to solve linear programming problems. And you not only are going to uh, identify how to solve the problem, but also you are going to learn a specific terminology that is important in the theory of linear programming. In this section, uh, what you are going to learn is how to model a linear programming problem, which in this case is going to be the furniture problem, using the Gurobi Python API. In, in, in this section, uh, you are going to learn about uh, an economic interpretation of linear programming models, and this is called sensitivity analysis. In this section, you are going to learn about linear programming problems that have multiple solutions. And also, uh, in this uh, section, you, you will learn how you can reformulate the problem in a better way, in such a way that rather than having multiple solutions, you will have only one solution. In, in this section, you are going to learn when a linear programming problem can be unbounded, meaning that you can increase uh, the values of your decision values, of the, your decision values ar ar arbitrarily, and your objective function is also going to increase arbitrarily. So, also this type of problems offers an opportunity to reformulate your problem and get a, a better formulation of the of the problem. In this section, we are going to discuss when a linear programming is infeasible. And also, we are going to discuss how we can reformulate this infeasible problem and make it feasible again. So, in this video, uh, we are going to consider um, several situations related to linear programming that are important to understand. So far dur during these uh, videos, we have uh, addressed the maximization problem. So in this in this video, we are going to deal how uh, we are going to explain how to deal with the minimization problem. We are going to explain how to deal with unconstrained decision variables, how to generate an initial basic solution, the pre-solve approach that reduce the size of, of a linear programming problem, and also discuss about matrix sparsity. So these are features of uh, linear programming that are important to understand uh, in such a way that you can deal properly with the solutions of uh, linear programming problems. So in this section, we are going to discuss my favorite topic, which is duality in, in linear programming. 
this is a very important um, concept and properties about linear programming that will allow to develop a very efficient algorithm to solve linear programming problems. So in this section, uh, we are going to discuss optimality conditions of uh, linear programming problems. And this is a continuation of the section related to, to duality. So in this section, we are going to identify sufficient and necessary conditions that makes uh, a solution optimal for a linear programming problem. In this section, we are going to discuss a variation of the simplex method that is called the dual simplex method. This method is important because it's heavily used when you are tackling a mixed integer linear programming problem, which will be the topic of the next videos related to uh, solving uh, mixed integral programming uh, models and giving an overview of these type of problems.